All right, so our installation starts underneath the sink. Okay. Right now down under here you've got the drain for the sink and two half inch copper water lines that come up from the basement. Normally hot is on the left, but not so in your case. This is the cold water line here on the left and there's no shut off up here so I've shut it off down in the basement. Now what I need to do is to connect this quarter inch line into this cold water feed. Now right up here there's a male adapter and a little nut connected down on top of it. I'm going to break those apart and now this will take the male adapter here this will take the nut and this is a T with a branch to make my quarter inch connection. So it starts by breaking this connection right here. To make a watertight connection I'm going to put Teflon tape on all of these threads. Okay, and I'll tighten them up with a pair of pliers. Now I need to thread this T onto this threaded adapter. Righty tighty and then make it up in two wrenches. Okay, now to make the connection of the plastic pipe to the copper, I'm going to put a little inline shutoff valve. This came with the filter. It's really handy for changing the cartridge. Here's the other half of that pipe. And now the last connection is into our T-fitting, and that's got a nut, a part called a ferrule. It's a little ring. And the last thing is an insert to support the inside of the pipe to make it nice and tight. And now I just make that connection in here. All right, Deb, will you pull that soap dispenser out of the top? Yep. I'm going to back the soap bottle off the bottom. And now I'm going to back the nut off down here. Just hold that chrome base okay. and spin it a little. Let's see if I can loosen it. Yep. Okay, yep. You take it right up and out. Good. This is the faucet you're going to see above the sink. But we want to make sure that no water gets down through. So there's a gasket right there. I'm going to put a little bit of putty. Just make a little bead like this. And that goes underneath. Now, on the bottom side of the sink is a washer, a pair of washers actually. A lock nut to hold it tight to the sink. And then the final connection will be utilizing a compression connection of a nut, a ferrule, and an insert, and just make that up tight. But that's done underneath. That should be pretty snug. Just try wiggling a little bit, see if it stays. Well, it seems to be pretty tight. Good. Snug, but not too snug. There we are. So there are two connections to make. One is the cold water feed into the filter, and I just have to push it in, and it's made. And now I just make up the outlet. So I want it to be approximately that length. Tubing cutter. And then just push the connection in. Made. All right, the cold water valve is back on down in the basement. Now it's time for a moment of truth. Let me just turn this valve on. Okay. Here we go. Good. Got a glass there? All right, yes. Won't you join me? Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't there miss this go. for the world. Now, the first water that comes through is going to be a little bit cloudy. That's just air bubbles, but that'll go away over okay. time. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>